everybody, today I'm in Greenwood, Indiana, and in this video we're gonna talk about three reasons why Greenwood, Indiana could be a good fit for you. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason Compton with the Compton Home Group. If it's your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about places like Greenwood, Indiana, or Indianapolis or any of the suburbs surrounding Indianapolis, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also tap that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video each and every week. We get calls and texts and emails from people all over the Indy Metro and all over the country with questions about Indianapolis, Greenwood, Indiana, and all of the suburbs surrounding the Indy Metro. So if you have questions at all, then don't hesitate to reach out any way that you know how. We'll always have your back with those questions and we'll always have your back when you're actually making your move within the Indy Metro or to the Indy Metro. So like I said, I'm in Greenwood, Indiana today and I'm actually in Old City Park, which is a pretty cool park in Greenwood. Actually, Greenwood has a, a lot of great parks, but we're gonna talk about three reasons why Greenwood, Indiana could be a good fit for you. Now, of course, that's always a little bit subjective, but these three reasons, if they match up and if you're moving within Indy or to Indy, match up with some of the things that you really want, then it may be a good place to consider for sure. So number one, the reason why Greenwood could be a pretty good place for you is the cost of living and the home prices here. So Indianapolis in general across the entire country is I'd say pretty well known as being one of the, the least expensive, bigger cities to live in in the country. But honestly, I mean, that can be a little bit deceiving. When you look at a median home sale price in Indianapolis, well below $200,000, that takes into, takes into account a lot of really, really rough places and rough homes. So if you wanna live in a nicer neighborhood and a nicer home, you're gonna pay certainly a lot more money than that in the city of Indianapolis. And then when you get out into the suburbs around Indianapolis, there are definitely some pretty expensive places to live. But Greenwood, Indiana, as far as the suburbs are concerned, it's one of the least expensive. The median home sale price here is about $228,000 or so, at least currently. And that's not gonna fluctuate all that much. It's gonna take a long time for it to, to rise, although it is, I would say, on the rise, but it's still one of the least expensive places to live outside of Indianapolis itself. Now, if you've got, let's say, $225,000, $250,000 to spend in Greenwood, it will be a little bit tricky finding a place that matches you perfectly. But if you ratchet up to that two hundred fifty dollars to three hundred, dollars then your choices are probably gonna be a little bit more abundant. And especially when you compare it to some of the more expensive suburbs, like on the north side with Zionsville, Carmel, Fishers, all very well-known places, even Westfield, those, if you have less than $300,000 to spend, it is extremely difficult to get in there. The choices are certainly few. So if you get here into Greenwood though, you have more choices. Now there's some other affordable suburbs around Indianapolis, not just Greenwood, uh, like over on the west side, you've got Avon, you have Plainfield, you have Brownsburg. But those places honestly are, they're very nice, but they're much smaller than Greenwood. Greenwood is a pretty good sized suburb. There's close to 60,000 people here or so. So that means when you're looking in those price ranges of 300,000, 250,000, somewhere in there, your choices are going to be more abundant. So while you're looking in one of those west side suburbs that are more affordable, you might have 10 choices or 15 choices in your price range. In Greenwood, you might have more than that. You might have 20, 25, or 30 choices. They, of course, won't all be matches. Of course not. But when you eliminate 80% of the homes that are on the market because they're just not a fit for you, it leaves you 20%, at least that number, that 20%, is much higher. So Greenwood just being really a bigger suburb, and in fact, it's about the fourth largest suburb outside of Indianapolis. You have Carmel and Fishers, which are 100,000 people or so, and then you have Noblesville, which is a little over 60,000 people. Greenwood is next. And so it is still a very large suburb, but it's also located in a pretty different spot. Now, in addition to the choice of homes, a few more to choose from, you're gonna have a little bit more to choose from as far as your entertainment and things to do, restaurants, places to go as well, just, just given that it is larger. It's not like it has so many more individually owned, unique places, shops, restaurants, bars, things like that, but it does have a few more. Just because 
it's bigger. It's bigger than Plainfield, it's bigger than Avon, it's bigger than Brownsburg, it's bigger than some of the other suburbs that you're gonna find even on the east side as well, like McCordsville or New Palestine, which are of course much, much smaller, but you're gonna have just more abundance of choice in a place like Greenwood. So speaking of that location, that brings us to number two. The location for Greenwood is really good. Now, the location is always a subjective thing. So it might be terrible for you. Let's say if you work in Carmel or on the north side of Indianapolis, that's gonna make your commute pretty large. So we're not talking about location as far as that is concerned necessarily. That's part of it for sure. But its location is in Johnson County. So that's south of Marion County where Indianapolis is located. And when you look in Marion County, there's 970,000 people or so in that county, so close to a million people. Of course, it's fairly dense. There's about 2,500 people per square mile or so in Indianapolis. Now, that's not the most dense place in the entire country by any stretch of the imagination, but it's certainly more dense than what you're gonna find in Johnson County. Even if you look up in Hamilton County, where some of the most popular Indianapolis suburbs are located, like Carmel and Fishers, there's well over 300, 30 to 40,000 people in Hamilton County. A pretty, at least in those parts of the county, fairly dense as well. It's about as dense as what you're gonna find in Indianapolis. But down here in Johnson County, there's only about 160,000 people or so. And Greenwood has roughly 60,000 people. So this entire county is actually not all that dense. Now in Greenwood itself, it's certainly a lot more dense, but not as dense as some of the other places you're gonna find in Indianapolis. But it's just not as crowded as what you're gonna find in some of the other counties that surround Indianapolis necessarily. So the location as far as that's concerned is pretty good. And then to get to downtown Indianapolis from Greenwood, unless you're really far south, I mean really far south in Greenwood, it's usually gonna take you less than 30 minutes to get there. And there are different directions that you can take to get there. There's US 31, you can take US 37 to hit 465, and then find your way into, into downtown Indy from there. And then also there's I-65, which takes you directly into the downtown area of Indianapolis. So if you work in that area, Greenwood could be a fairly good location. Now the traffic isn't always fantastic, but it's not nearly as heavy as what you're gonna find in some of the other places in the city. So location is pretty good there too. But the thing I think that people might miss as far as the location is concerned is the fact that it is on the south side and it is so close to southern Indiana and everything that it has to offer. So you're within an hour's drive of Brown County State Park, Morgan Monroe State Park, these are, and, and several others in the area too, like even towns and cities like Bloomington, Indiana, Nashville, Indiana, these places are beautiful. So if you're into the outdoors at all, then you, and if you've never experienced Indiana at all, you are going to want to experience places like that. They have some of the best hiking, honestly, easily in the entire Midwest. And I don't hike a ton, but I certainly used to mountain bike an awful lot. And I know for a fact, as far as mountain biking is concerned across the entire country, it's kind of the dark horse. It's the sneaky place. So many critics or writers about mountain biking have always said, Southern Indiana will sneak up on you. It's very hilly. It is beautiful. Tons and tons of forests and you've got all the state parks and it's different than what you might think. It's some of the best mountain biking in the entire country. So, you know, if you get out west, of course, into all the mountains, the hiking's fantastic, but sometimes the mountain biking is not all that great because it's too mountainous. So this gives you a really nice mix. So if you're going there just with the family, you can of course find plenty of places to camp, to fish, and just enjoy being outside. Southern Indiana will absolutely surprise you if you aren't very familiar with it at all. So living on the south side in Greenwood, if you're into those types of things, it's fantastic. So you can go there, make a day trip of it so easily. When you're talking an hour drive or less, that's nothing. Just get on I-65 or State Road, um, State Road 37, and you can be there in that amount of time. Plus there's Lake Lemon, there's Lake Monroe. So if you're into anything water, those are two places that are absolutely fantastic as far as boating and skiing, jet skis, or just being out on the water on a pontoon boat or anything like that, perfect for that kind of thing. So the location for Greenwood is pretty unique 
and also I think an advantage for it. So number three for Greenwood is the fact that it is extremely family friendly. It's a pretty, I'd say, it's a large suburb, so you're, you're gonna find everything that you could possibly want in Greenwood. Everything is definitely here. You don't have to leave Greenwood to really get to anything at all if you don't need to in the city of Indianapolis. So if you need Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Meyer, Target, all of that's here. Every single possible chain restaurant imaginable is also here. Plus you have a lot of individual shops, restaurants, things like that, but it is extremely family friendly. So it's pretty low key. The pace in Greenwood is not that fast for the size of it, I would say. Plus there's over, there's 17 parks in Greenwood, over 400 acres of park space. Now they don't necessarily have any park that's gigantic, like this old city park that I'm in right now. And this place is really cool, it's really neat. There's a little ice cream stand, a little ice cream shop just off uh, to my left over here, which is really popular with people, uh, especially during, of course, the, the hot months of the year. Uh, the playground here is awesome. The public library is just right here behind me. I'm gonna flip around so you can actually see that a little bit. So not a huge place, and it's kind of plunked down here right in the middle of the city, honestly. But all the parks are really spread out through Greenwood. Not very big, but there's enough of them to where you don't have to really travel all that far with your family just to blow off some steam and, and have a little bit of fun. The biggest one is Craig Park, which is I think about 27 acres or so, and that's where the Greenwood Amphitheater is located. And that's a pretty cool spot too. The amphitheaters have become very, very popular around Indianapolis, and I'm pretty sure across the entire country too, where they all have a, a summer concert series, and it's a place where you can go see free concerts, hang out outside, the kids can play. So that kind of vibe you're going to find all through Greenwood. So in Greenwood, if you have a Greenwood address, you might have Greenwood Community Schools that you're a part of. You could be Clark Pleasant. It could also be Center Grove School District. And they're all really highly rated schools. So they're all also not enormous, which is certainly, I feel like, uh, is a pretty good advantage, especially for the size of Greenwood being over 60,000 people, or at least close to 60,000 people. And if they all had them in all the students in one school system, it could get a little bit troublesome for sure. So it's a little bit more spread out. So if you have any questions at all about Greenwood itself, then don't hesitate to reach out or any questions in general about the Indy Metro. Again, reach out any way that you know how. And until the next one, we'll see you later.